I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on algebra. Sometimes we land up with very tricky and interesting questions. Here are two based on radicals. Question number one is, if square root of 6 minus 4 square root 2 is equal to p minus q square root 2, find the value of p plus q. Very similar to this for you to practice is another question where I've changed the values to square root of 7 minus 4 square root 3, right? So I'd like you to pause the video, try it out, and then look into my suggestions. Now, when you look at this question, you can see that 6 can be written as combination of 4 plus 2, and uh, this is like 4 times 2. So you get reminded of what is uh, a minus b whole square equals to, right? So a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So the strategy here is to write 6 as sum of squares, right? Write 6 as sum of squares. We could also write this as a square plus b square, that is sum of squares, minus 2 times a and b. Right? That is the strategy. So how could you do it? <clears throat> Since we have square root, so let's write down square root here. Within square root 6 can be written as combination of 4 and 2, right? So, so we could write this as uh, 4 square, square root 4 square, plus square root 2 square. Now, this is 4 plus 2 as 6, right? Minus 2 times square root 4 times square root 2. Check. Do you get this term 4 square root 2? Well, square root of 4 is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So that is correct. So we could actually write the left hand side as equal to. So this is the left side. So left side 6 can be written as square root of 4 square plus square root 2 square. And this term here can be written as 2 square root 4 times Square root 2. Perfect. But while doing so, what we have done here is made it a perfect square. We could actually now write this as square root 4 minus square root 2 whole square. Correct? Now, square and square root, we could write this as square root of 4 minus square root 2. Square root 4 is basically 2, right? So, which is equal to 2 minus square root 2. Does it make sense? Correct? So, so that is how we could write this. Now, if you compare this, let me rewrite, 2 minus square root 2. If you compare this with P minus Q square root 2, then clearly, you get p as equals to 2 and q as equal to 1. You need to find the value of p plus q and therefore p plus q will be 2 plus 1 which is 3. So that is how you could solve such a question. Is that clear to you? So I like you to adopt the same method and solve the next question. I hope the concept is clear, right? So it's kind of uh, simple once you understand the strategy about how to go about such questions, right? So once again, uh, let's apply the same method here. So we'll begin with this uh, left hand side, which is square root of 7 minus 4 square root 3. S 7 can be written as a combination of 4 and 3. So we'll write this as 4 square plus 4 square root, right? Square root 3 square, which is 4 plus 3 as 7, right? So it is within square root. And then 4 square root 3 can be written as 2 times these 2, right? 2 times square root of 4, which is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times square root 3. You get the idea. So the left side can be written in this form, which basically is square root of 4 minus square root of 3 whole square. 
Therefore, we could now write this as square root of 4 minus square root of 3. So, which is basically 2 minus square root of 3. Okay. Now, we'll again compare with what is given to us. So, we are saying that 2 minus square root of 3 is equal to P minus Q square root of 3. So, in this case, P is equals to 2 and Q equals to 1. And their sum, P plus Q, will be equal to 2 plus 1, which is 3. Do you see that? So that is how we are going to solve such questions. So I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. So it really helps once you understand the process, how to solve such uh, questions which seem to be very difficult. I hope you understand and appreciate the strategy. Feel free to write your comment, share my videos with your friends, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.